Welcome to this lecture, we will have a look at the differences between a paired and unpaired t-test. To explain the differences between a paired and an unpaired t-test, we will here use an example or a paired study design. In this example, one wants to analyze the effect of a certain diet. The body weight has been measured on 6 individuals before and after 4 weeks on the diet. Note that we measure the weight before and after on the same individuals. The following figure and table show the results of this experiment. For example, person number 1 had a body weight of 100 kilos before the diet and a body weight of 94 kilos after the diet. The weight loss for person number 1 was therefore 6 kilos. Person number 2 had a weight loss of 5 kilos. Person number 3 had also a weight loss of 5 kilos, whereas person number 4 had a weight loss of 4 kilos and so forth. The mean weight of the 6 individuals before the diet was 81 kilos, whereas the mean weight after the diet was 77 kilos. The difference between the mean weight after and before the diet is negative 4. Thus, on average, the individuals lost 4 kilos after the diet. Note that we will get the same mean value if we calculate the mean of the individual weight losses. As if we subtract the mean weight before the diet from the mean weight after the diet. However, there is a major difference in the standard deviations. For example, there is a large variation in the weights of the six individuals, which results in a standard deviation of about 13 kilos. On the other hand, the weight losses only span between 1 and 6 kilos, which results in a standard deviation of only 1.78 kilos. Although there is a large variation in the body weights, the variation of the weight losses is small. This is the equation for the unpaired t-test that can be used when you have an equal sample size and an equal variance in the two groups. Before we compare the unpaired t-test with the paired t-test, Note that the unpaired t-test is not appropriate for this data since we do not have independent observations. The weights before and after have been measured on the same persons. To compare the tests, we will see what happens if we incorrectly would use an unpaired t-test for this data. This is how the t-statistic is calculated for a paired t-test, which is the correct test to use for this kind of data since we have paired measurements. Note that the unpaired t-test computes the difference between the means from the two groups, whereas the paired t-test computes the mean of the differences between the pairs. However, the main difference lies in how the standard error is calculated. The standard error that is computed for the unpaired t-test is based on the spread of the weights of the six individuals. Whereas the standard error for the paired t-test is based on the spread of the weight losses. As can be seen, the standard deviation of the weights is much larger compared to the standard deviation of the weight losses. Let's plug in the numbers for the unpaired t-test and for the paired t-test. Note that the standard error in the unpaired t-test is about 7.2 which is about 10 times larger compared to the standard error for the pair t-test. This difference results in about 10-fold difference in the t-statistic between the unpaired and the pair t-test. If we would continue to compute the p-values based on the t-statistics, we see that the p-value of the pair t-test is about 200 folds lower than the p-value from the unpaired t-test. For example, if we would use an unpaired t-test by mistake in this example, we will conclude that the diet does not seem to reduce the mean weight. In contrast, if we use a paired t-test, we will conclude that there is a significant weight loss after using the diet. Another important difference between the two tests is the normality assumption. When you use an unpaired t-test, we usually assume that the observations in both groups are normally distributed whereas the paired t-test only assumes that the differences follows a normal distribution. This was the end of this lecture about the differences between the paired and the unpaired t-test.